Hey guys, it's Brianna aka Hook by Brianna and today I am really excited about this video. We got our package from Wool and the Gang and we are going to be testing out their crochet vest kit. This is a paid promotion so just keep that in mind while watching this video. Um, it does come out June 7th so by the time I upload this video it probably is out already so check out the description box so you can purchase the kit for yourself if you would like to do this as well. And then I do have another knit crate package, so I will be opening that in this video as well. So first let's start off with this and then we'll get into the main part of the video. So we got this brown yarn. It is 90% Suri Alpaca, 10% Cashmere. It is worsted yarn and it is 150 yards. So yeah, we got these, they're super soft. And I can't wait to make something out of this. And then we got these cute little stitch markers. Oops, sorry, excuse my nails. But we got these cute little stitch markers. And another book, uh, like we always do get. So thanks again, Knit Crate. Make sure you check out my description box for the code to use at checkout for a percentage off. And if you guys didn't notice, I did pierce my nose the other day. I just remembered whenever I got close up to the camera. And I also just got this necklace today, which is very pretty. I ordered it off of Etsy and this ring too. And I will put their information down below too because you should support small businesses and these are so cute. And they're an amazing price as well. Let me just open the box already so I can stop hiding my address. So let's open this up without scissors because I'm just built like this. They did email me the actual pattern, so I believe this is just the yarn that I will need. So here's a little unboxing too. Here, what was inside. Really cute. Hashtag wool in the game. So here is what comes in the kit. You can see. I picked out these colors, by the way. So I got this midnight blue color. Then I got turquoise waters. All of these are 155 yards and are 100% cotton. We got the ivory white. The kit does come with everything you need to make the vest. So they give you the perfect amount of yarn, so don't worry about running out. And they also, oops, they also give you a hook as well. Here's another one. So I got three whites, two of these and two of the dark blue, this crochet hook. So again, here's everything that came in the kit. We got three whites, two turquoises and two midnight blues and one crochet hook. So I'm going to go grab my laptop. Okay, so I was, I was looking at the pattern and I was supposed to receive a sewing needle as well, but I did not see one. I thought it would be in this pack, like with the hook. So I ripped it open and I still didn't find it in here. So that's okay because I do have my own, but just, I don't know if it was supposed to come with one, but it says on the toolkit it's supposed to have one, but maybe I'll find it later. But I wanna show you guys how cute the like first few pages of the pattern is without like showing the actual pattern and I love it. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So here it is, like look at that, gorgeous. And this is the name of the vest, the Wild One Vest, easy with the five millimeter hook. And look at how cute. Sorry there's flies. My dad um, cooked out yesterday. So you know, the flies love to go to the grill and the grill is right out there. So that's why there's a lot of flies flying around if you see that. And if I do that, cause I hate bugs, but I won't record the entire process. I'll do some check-ins because I am watching Survivor. I'm on season 32. I haven't watched 32 seasons. I've been skipping around, but yeah, right now I'm watching 32. So I'll check up on you guys later once I actually get started and thoroughly read through the instructions and everything. So first I'm gonna start my foundation chain. Okay, so I went and got my hook. I got my yarn needle just in case and some scissors just in case. But I remembered while I was getting those, those things that I need to start my timer. So I'm going to start my timer and then we will get back to starting the foundation chain. So I did my 61. Let me make sure my 
Okay, for so for one, I guess I'm working from the bottom up, so this should be 17. I'm so okay, it should be 16.3 inches. I need to go get my measuring tape, so I'll be right back. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second for you guys, but I don't know how long for me. And I will keep my timer running, so I can give you guys a good estimate of how long this project will take you to make if you do get this kit. So it is getting pretty hot in here, so I will be moving inside, unfortunately. With that, it will be worth lighting, but I am just doing some check-in, so the lighting doesn't matter that much at that point. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go move. I already stopped my timer and then I will update you guys with some progress next time I check in. You're about to notice that I didn't do that many check-ins because a lot of the stuff was repetitive since it is just a granny square type, granny stitch type vest, but yeah. So now we finished the back panel as well. And the next step is to do the hem trims. So, I'll come back to y'all when I have another update. Well, first let me show y'all these together. They fit together nicely. But yeah, now I'm gonna do the hem trims. Okay, so now we have made it to the point where we have all of our pieces. These are the arm trims, the neck trim, the trim like on the bottom and here's the front and back pieces so now we're going to be sewing them together and we'll finally have our finished product pretty soon so first we had to make the wrong sides touching and then with color a i'll be sewing the top parts together So this is what I have so far. I'm still sewing this edge and then I will be done and I'll try it on for you guys. And in the morning, I will complete the rest of this video. Hey guys, so as you can see, here is the finished product and we are to the end of the video. First, I wanna go over what is left in the kit. We still have this much yarn left, which is pretty good. Don't mind my um, needle, but yes Oops. we do have leftover yarn probably because i did make the smallest size and this can be made in four different sizes so if you do have a smaller size hey you get some leftover yarn too after this test but um if i were a beginner i would think it's pretty straightforward on how to make it and they do have a lot of resources on how to do stitches and everything within the pattern as well. And I do have video resources as well, but those didn't work for me, but maybe they're up now since I was doing the pattern before it was released. It took me, I don't know the exact time, I'll put the exact time up here. 11 hours and 40 minutes to complete this vest but I think around 11 hours maybe 12 hours to complete this whole thing but I was getting pretty distracted so it probably would have took a little long I mean a little less long if I just straight up did it and didn't get so distracted but um I really like the kit and if you want to purchase your own kit by William the gang they have two different vest styles which I'll put here and here but I'll put a link in the description to their website so you can look at all of the products that they have to offer. And I am really happy with this. You can check out my pictures on Instagram. I just finished taking them. So I'll put my favorite picture right here, I guess. But go follow me at Hope by Brianna. And you can see all of my other creations as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any other questions about the Wool in the Game kit, please comment down below. And thank you so much, Will and the Gang, for giving me this opportunity to test out and promote your pattern. Well, kit, kit pattern for this vest. But thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day.